the goal of the Clark Fulton Public Art Project was to create a partnership between Metro West, Community Development Organization, Land Studio, and Metro Health. And to take what we developed in the Neighborhood Master Plan and start to implement that, start to act on that. Luckily for us, Land Studio was already hard at work with Metro Health working on their visual arts program. And this was just a really natural way for us to bring all of the beautiful work that was happening inside the hospital and really reflect that in the neighborhood and in the streets themselves. And what we wanted to do was make sure that we were bringing residents to the table as early as possible to help shape what that vision can look like and also to tell us what kinds of artworks spoke to them. Not just any art, but you know, uh, art that represented community and culture and had the colors and really beautified the neighborhood. All the murals, when you see them, that transport you to another place, it's a happy place, and that means it puts something positive in the minds and to have positive thoughts it brings another good things for the neighborhood. Just being able to create a neighborhood that represents the people that live within it, I think is really satisfying for me too. And I also feel like the people that live here feel valued by the investment in arts in the neighborhood and all the other projects that are going on too. Public art, it challenges thought, creates positive environment, even in the most critical of themes will create conversation in a polite way, not an aggressive way, because it comes from beauty. And that's really why I do what I do. You know, I, I just believe in the power of art and color and um, beautiful craft to elevate a space, to elevate people's moods and outlook. And I think that can go a long way. Just people driving by and seeing this bright new building immediately starts interest in that neighborhood where you wouldn't get that from anything else. It's that bright pop of color or that some interesting new piece. All of a sudden people start thinking about the neighborhood differently. A lot of the personal work that I've done uh, before I started the project was very, um, I'm very much into like diversity and community and bringing people together. My biggest inspiration. The kits were primarily inspired from my excitement about living in the neighborhood, noticing and celebrating that the majority of residents of our community their major transportation is on their feet, on their pedals, or on the bus. I like that there's also this sort of art evidence. It does go away, but it takes a little time. And so I like also watching this art maybe stay up longer than it was intended before nature washes it all away. As an artist, you know, I understand the needs of an artist you know, based on my own experiences. And so I've been able to use these different projects as a way to support independent artists as part of bigger projects. And then they have more opportunities, more visibility, more skills that they can then use in projects in the future. And it's been really cool to see that happen. This was an opportunity right away to make an investment and to show that we're, we're living up to that vision of creating a neighborhood that is based in equity, inclusivity, and opportunity. The Metro Health investment and just the partners coming together has been transformational and some building community. It really was just such a wonderful partnership and we're so uh, thankful that we could, we could do this together. All we really wanted to do was beautify and make sure that this neighborhood really reflected uh, the folks who live here. We are here and we're here to stay and that we're not gonna move elsewhere to make a difference. We're gonna stay in this neighborhood right here and we're gonna gather with partners and we're gonna organize residents because we wanna see the change here for our children. It makes you smile. <laughs>